What's going on, people? It's Gun Trier from Next Gen Tactics, and I'm bringing you not necessarily my opinion, but an article that sort of made me raise my eyebrow a little bit. And I want to know your uh, your opinion as well as the community to see what you feel about this, because I'm a little mixed. I mean, I see where these guys are coming from, but at the same time, I'm just not sure I'm 100% in agreement with them. Anyway, it was the uh, label president whatever that means, I don't know, really know what that position entails, but the label president for EA Games uh, said that single player only games, so games like God of War or, um, I don't know, the, the very first Uncharted, you know the games where you just, there is no multiplayer content, you just go on there, you play the game for a number of hours, you beat it, and then you're done. I mean, for me, I would actually, even all of my God of War games that I played, uh, my early Ghost Recon games that I played, I didn't just play them once and then leave it. I would play them, go into something else, and go back and play the game again on a different, uh, maybe difficult uh, difficulty setting, or try and beat my time, try and rush through it. So I'm kind of a little confused, not really confused, I, I just don't, I'm not sure if I'm 100% in agreement with this individual, saying that single player only games are done, that they're not going to be basically making them anymore, they're going to be obsolete, it's all about interaction, social interaction with your other fellow gamers, you know, you and me. But you know what, to be quite honest with you, sometimes I don't want that. Sometimes I don't want that social interaction. Sometimes I don't want to hear uh, the whiners and the people and, you know, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes, you know, that's how you build up your friends list. That's how you, and, and it's, I find it can be at certain times more fun, but sometimes I don't want that interaction. I just want to flip the switch block everyone else out and just enjoy a nice game like whether whatever it is whatever it is an RPG or whatever I don't really care but I've had hours and hours of enjoyment without having to go online without that social interaction just sort of it's like taking a walk for yourself you know what I mean just going off and doing your own thing sometimes you don't want to interact with everyone sometimes that constant interaction is draining and you don't need it all the time and quite frankly I like the games where I can do that I like the games like uh, the very first Uncharted. Why well, don't have to worry about anyone? I could just sort of get absorbed into the storyline and do it myself and enjoy it like an interactive movie. You know what I mean? And so he's saying like basically that all single player only games with no multiplayer component to it are done. Maybe that's true, maybe it's not. I think the problem is that nowadays we see such a huge push for these multiplayer games. Everything's going multiplayer. I mean, even the second installment of Uncharted 2 had a multiplayer component. Not the greatest. It is actually a, a lot of fun, but again, it's that multiplayer. I mean, we got Call of Duty out the wazoo, where it's like basically pure multiplayer. Some people don't even play the campaign. They never start it up. I haven't actually played it myself, but that's a little bit different on uh, Black Ops. Um, that's because I gotta get multiplayer videos out. Anyway, I'm just curious to see how you guys feel about that. I mean, does every game now have to have multiplayer content? Is it imperative? Do you guys, as, as gamers in the community, absolutely need multiplayer in every single game that you play? Or is it nice once in a while to sit back and, and play a game where you don't have to worry about interacting with anyone? You can just do whatever you want, play the game, enjoy the game, and just... You know, without having to say, oh, hey, yeah, I'll invite you in, I'll bring you in, oh, oh, where's my headset? Who really cares? I like the games that provide you with that movie-like experience and an interactive movie-like experience. You know what I mean? As the, the acting gets better, the, the, the voiceovers, the storylines and the graphics and everything like that, it truly is like this really long, epic movie that you get to be a part of. And I don't want other people to be involved in that. I want to just experience it myself, and I think it's... It's more of a cinematic experience when you can play games like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think he's... I see where he's sort of coming from. I know it's uh, big interactivity. Uh, the multiplayer sort of increases, for the most part, longevity of a game. You know what I mean? You're more likely to play the game uh, if there's, like, for a long time, if there's a multiplayer component because it's always a different experience. You know what I mean? Relatively the same, but there's always that moment kind of like made you go, what? Did that just happen? where you don't necessarily get that in single player games. But at the same time, I like my single player games. I don't know if I need necessarily need a multiplayer in every single game I play. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you guys want multiplayer in everything? Or is, do you guys like some of your single player? Tell me what your favorite, absolute favorite single player game is and whether or not you would like to see it go multiplayer. That's what I'm curious about. 
your favorite single player games, would you like to see multiplayer content on it? I don't know. Leave your comments. Peace. Get the latest updates and stay in touch with the NGT community with their all-new Facebook application. Check the description of the video for details.